La ilaha illallah. Wow, I don't even know what to begin. Maru, an Maru, Kura. So let's get the text again. One, zero, two. Okay, I read. read it, yeah. If you, if you want to read it, yeah. Right, so let's start from the, the beginning. When you approach me, yes, you, know, you are not the guy to talk to me. Between the husband and the wife. Where is the text? The text, oh, okay. Let me, let me get the text up. So you're going to explain to me yes, yes, yes. why you believe that Jesus yes, yes. knew the day of judgment even though he said he doesn't know, yeah? No, 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 no. Okay. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Come in, Akira. Come in, come in, come in. So it's Matthew 24, verse 36. So we're going to get Matthew 24, verse 36 out. Will oh, you answer some of my questions, the preliminary before we start? Okay, I just want to find the verse. Hold on, Matthew 24. Matthew 24, 36, yeah. yeah. Six. Okay, yeah. What would you like to ask? So what I want to know is, uh, did you read this whole chapter for yourself and then when you saw that text, yeah. it concerned you? Okay, you so, no, 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 it's, it's, it's a mic, it picks up the sound. Okay, so auntie, I want to say this to you, Jane. No, no, answer what I said. So what were you asking? I asked you, did what? you read a chapter and then you came across that text? Yes. Because I um, have a strong feeling, correct me if I'm wrong, right. that when you all go to the mosque, the imam will give you certain texts to ask the Christians. Because, as I said, wherever I go, all over London, out of London, people ask me this text. And I say, but it seems as if somebody said to them, Ask the Christian this text. No, 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 auntie, I think you're getting this completely incorrect. No, is it wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? No, you're wrong. You're wrong. So you read the whole Bible, you read the whole chapter, and you came across that verse. Okay, auntie, listen carefully. Yeah? Yes or no? Auntie, let me answer you, okay? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, no, I want auntie, a yes or no. Auntie, please, uh, we're going to give right. you an answer, but you have to calm down now. You have to calm down now, man. Okay? <laughs> Just relax. Okay. All right, so auntie, listen, yeah? Uh -huh. The reason why I'm giving you this verse, right? I'm not saying that when I go into a mosque that the Imam picks out this verse and says, you know what, ask a Christian this question. So I was right. The, no, no. I was right. No, no, no. We, no the Imam so doesn't tell us to do is, this. Why it is? Wherever I go. Yeah. So, east, west, north, or south, they pick that. Do you know why? Why is that? Okay, auntie. The reason why we ask this question it's a very important question because Christians they believe that Jesus is the Almighty God, yes, right? Yes. And you believe that, am I right? Yes. Okay, good. Fantastic. Right? The reason why this is an important question mm -hmm. is because Christians believe mm -hmm. that Jesus knew the day of judgment. Because if you're God, you can't be an ignorant God, you must know the day of judgment or the end of time if you are the creator. Would you agree with that? Alright, that sounds feasible, yeah. Okay. okay, excellent. I'm glad you agree with me. Right, so if Jesus Christ is the creator and he is God, then he should have the knowledge of the end of time. So this is the reason why I was pointing to that verse last week, auntie, 
yeah. right? That why is it that Jesus says of that day, of that hour, knows no man, not even the sun. So Jesus is speaking about the sun here. Is Jesus considered the son of God according to Christianity? Yes. He's right. He's considered the son of God. But yet the son of God didn't know that knowledge. The only one who knew that knowledge was the father himself. Right. So my question to you, auntie, hold on. My question is coming now. Yeah, Jean. Why did Jesus not know that knowledge? This is why I was asking you last week. Go for it. Okay, all right. Now, I said to you, you know, we must go back, yeah? Because, let's start from verse 3. Verse 3 of what? In the same chapter, we're dealing on this chapter. I'm going to answer on this chapter. Yeah, all right, okay. So what's all this about? No, 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 it's just, uh, it's just, okay, so verse 3 goes what? Wait, wait, hold on a minute. Because I understand that all these things, when they go home and they, think, they edit, they twist what I say. No, 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 no. These brothers here, they will not edit the video, right? I know them personally. We, we know, know them personally, person. they will not do that. Person. They will present the, the conversation as how we are speaking. So where would it present this conversation? Where? This is presented on the internet. But if you're not happy with it, I understand. I'm not happy. Okay. All right. I understand. That. If you're not happy, then we can have this conversation off camera. I don't mind. Or they can just film us. But Auntie, I, I want to get to more an important question, Auntie, because yes, yeah. let's um, okay, because let's, um, you start. You told me to start from verse three. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Right. So, should I read for you? Alright, read. Okay, you ready, Auntie? Yeah, yeah. Right. It says, As he sat on the Mount of Olives. You with me? Yeah, yeah I'm okay. following here. Alright. The disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will this be? And what will be the sign of your coming? And of those close of the age? And Jesus answered them, Take heed that no one leads you astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am Christ and they will lead many astray. And you will hear of wars and rumours of wars. See that you are not alarmed. For this must take place, but the end is not yet. For nations will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Read me so far? Yeah? Okay. All this is but the beginning of the birth of pangs. Then they will deliver you up to tribulations and put you to death. Read right up to your verse that you want. Okay. Then they will deliver you up to tribulations and put you to death. And you will be hated by nations for my sake. And then many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another. And many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And because wickedness is multiplied, most men's love will grow cold. But he who endures to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come. Should I keep reading? Alright, okay. Let's um, So Auntie, sorry, sorry, with all due respect, Auntie, can you still answer my question? Because Jesus no, no, said No, come in, come in. Come in. Should, should, should I still keep continue keep reading? On. Oh okay. Alright, uh, wow, okay, because so... if you notice, that is how Jesus, Jesus don't always answer Okay, no, auntie, no problem. I will read, auntie, no problem. Okay. What I will do, I will keep reading until you want me to stop. <laughs> no, read until we should have texted him. Okay, fine. So when you see the desolation sacrally spoken of by the prophet Daniel, standing in the holy place, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the host top not go down to take what is in his house. And let him who is in the field not turn back to his mantle. And alas, for those who are with a child and for those who give suck in those days, pray that your, your flight may not be in winter or of Sabbath. For then there will be a great tribulation, such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now. No, and never will be. And if those days had not been shortened, no human beings will be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be shortened. Then, if any one says to you, Lo, here is Christ, or there he is, do not believe it. 
for false Christs and prophets will arise and show great signs and wonders so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Should I keep reading? Keep reading until you see the text for me. Alright, so hold on. Uh, I think it's verse 36 is the... Right, okay. So if there is just... Okay. If they say to you, Lo, he is in the wilderness, do not go out. If they say, Lo, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lighting comes from the east and shines as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever the body is, the greater the eagles will be gathered together. Verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then will appear the signs of Son of Man in heaven and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Verse 31. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other. From the fig tree learns its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also when you see all these things, you know that he is near at every gate. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away to all these things till things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Right. Now, this is the magic this verse. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I'm still yeah. waiting for the question. Okay, up, yeah. Okay. It says, but of that day, uh -huh. an hour knows no one, not even the angels. Right. Not my father. Uh, hold on. Hold on, auntie. <laughs> Don't rush. Right. So when it says, not even the angels. So does the angels know the hour? No, you read it. Okay, let me read it. The angels of heaven nor the sun. All right. Yeah? But the Father alone. As were the days of Noah, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Right. So, my question still remains, right. Auntie. Okay. Yeah. Right? You believe that Jesus is God and God is all knowing. Yes, yes, yes. How come Jesus didn't know the day of judgment? Okay. So, my answer now. Please do. Right. Before, um, I have some um, other things. Um, because, you know, I wrote down some things from the beginning when you and I had the conversation, yeah? Okay. And I said that um, he didn't know then, but he, he know now. And yes. you said, that's not in the Bible. That's what I said, yes. Right. Last so, week, you're right. So now um, I'm saying, I'm going to ask you, where is Jesus? Right. Right. So let's, let's, let's take this from the start, right? I asked you, right, how come Jesus does not know this knowledge? You said to me last week, yes. right, that Jesus now knows this knowledge That's because right. he's in heaven. Yes. But on earth, as because he, he was say. in a human flesh, yes. he didn't know that knowledge. That's right. But my question still remains. Right. The Bible says only the Father knows. Okay. So irrespective of whether Jesus is in heaven or on earth, he does not know that knowledge. He did not know then. But he doesn't say that, Auntie. Well, like, that's what you said. He didn't say it. But I am saying to you, right. if he's in heaven, that is 2,000, about 2,000 years ago. Right. Don't you think yeah. in all that 2,000 years, they wouldn't discuss it? No, because Jesus... No, no, no. no. Now, you went to school, yes? Yes. And sometimes the teacher asks you a question and you didn't know it then. But when you go home and you look to or you think, you know the answer. No, no. After, okay, no, so if the teacher... No, scenario, scenario, yes? Okay. So I am saying, when I said he didn't know it then, but he know it now because he's in heaven. And it's two, over 2,000 years or nearly 2,000 years, I'm not precise, that he is in heaven with the Father. So, common sense. But you can't say common sense, um, no, Auntie. Wait, wait, so, so, all right, listen. Yeah. So, you are going to tell me that after two years with God and the earth is in tumult and everything, they will not say, when shall we go down? You think he would no. discuss that? No. Why are you saying that? All right. 
the reason why I'm the reason why I'm saying that irrespective of whether Jesus right whether Jesus was in heaven or on earth right the father said in the Bible that the only one who knows this knowledge is the father alone for example if I said to you this mobile phone I am the only person who possesses this mobile phone yeah the key word here is only right so if I said I'm the only one who has this phone could you have that phone while I'm the only one who possesses it is it possible but after a while I could become the owner of that phone because you don't keep a people don't keep phones forever. Yes, this is true. Hmm? Yes, this is true. However, however. Okay. So that is not a only. Right. However, in the I understand that, but in the text itself, uh -huh. the text doesn't say that when Jesus returns to heaven, then that knowledge will be known to him. Mm -hmm. Does it say this? No, it didn't say that. Right. Okay. However, the Bible clearly says that only Jesus knows that knowledge. So the phone example that you used, right, is that later on you could be the owner of the phone. This is possible. However, you cannot contrast that example to the, Bible, the biblical text because Jesus says only the Father. Now the only, the only way that your argument will stand if Jesus said in the Bible, right, that when I return, Heaven, uh -huh. that knowledge will be made known to me okay. that's when your argument will stand okay, okay. but unfortunately for you it doesn't stand because Jesus says no, because you only don't want it to be st you don't want it to stand but you Family tell me something if you and your parents you find you you are um, your mother and father and um, you learn something outside and um, you're in the house you mean to tell me you tell you tell me something. Two thousand years we're together. Jesus is concerned about what's happening on the earth. The Father is concerned about what's happening on the earth. So you think they wouldn't discuss it? You want to have to um, okay, if I go if I go by your interpretation, then let's say for the sake of argument, Jesus knows the hour when he's in heaven. Then are you telling me at one point he didn't know about the hour? God is supposed to be all-knowing at all times. Why? Because he's perfect. Well, as human beings, we're ignorant. Yeah? But we can acquire knowledge, correct? So, so you're telling that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, acquired knowledge when he's in the heaven. Why should God no, acquire the knowledge? Acquire knowledge. It's not acquired knowledge. You know what? It's not acquired knowledge. But can I just... Um, no, well, well, sorry, why not, auntie? Why not? Pardon? Why not? Why not what? Why, why is it the fact that... Okay, if I go by your understanding that Jesus in heaven knows the hour that's when he knows the hour that means he had to uh, that uh, that means at one point in time he didn't possess the knowledge about how can he attribute this to God when God is supposed to be knowing at all times that's it no because you know you know why he, he you know why he said that because you know that depends on us when on us Auntie, what does the word only mean in this in the sentence that I read earlier? At what that time, only, yes, you're right, you're right. Because remember, when we, we you know, we have to talk about other things before we talk. To but would you admit hold to... On, yeah, sorry. Hold on, because when Jesus was talking, when he said that, was he God at the time? No, but we don't believe that Jesus was God full stop. Well, you see, that's it. What you believe, because you, you know, if I talk to uh, you Muslim, if I talk to uh, Hindu or Buddhist, or they say they wouldn't believe that. So it's what you believe that doesn't mean that that is the fact. No, but it is the fact, and I tell is you what. I tell you why, Auntie. What you don't believe, auntie, what you believe, does that mean it's facts? But Auntie, Auntie, the way how we can establish our belief is first of all we have to use a sound reasoning and rationality. If things does, doesn't make sense, then why should I believe in it? Now, for example, I don't believe the spaghetti monster exists, right? Because it doesn't, it doesn't meet my sound reasoning. So my belief, believe by because definition. Because we are simple-minded. You know, we think we have so much knowledge. Exactly. So we should, use, know, we should utilize, our, utilize our, in, our intellect. Now, do you agree I'm with me? Yeah. Um, your reasoning is quite. Um, what's your, it's quite feasible. Your reasoning. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Let me say something here. So why the reason why I asked you to read the whole chapter 
because Jesus, although he, um, it says here that, um, let's look at the beginning. All right, I said all of that. All of that. I said all of that. Then, and then he said, because what Jesus is concerned about is not his coming. He was concerned about what was happening at the time. People will come around and say, there's a Christ here, there's a God here. And that is what Jesus was concerned about. And when all these things are corrected, then he will decide to come. But auntie, but auntie, oh, no, let me finish. Yeah, sorry, let me finish. Auntie, right, right. Because, you know, I wrote all this down because, like, um, I've had this all the time, that when they ask me one question, they ask me four and five, six questions, and I never get to the point. So that's why I wrote it all down. So do you mind if I read what I've written? So hold on, so this is your answer to what we were we asked you yesterday yes. last week about why Jesus didn't know the day of yes. judgment. Yes. Okay. I, I I would like to I would like you to rationally explain why or how he because it, clearly the Bible says that he didn't know. He didn't know the hour. And as the brother confirmed that Jesus didn't know. Uh, actually you said that Jesus didn't know back then but now he knows. Yes, this is what you said. Now. But who's giving him the knowledge? So come Who's giving him the knowledge in heaven? Let's say for the sake of argument, I go by your interpretation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's right. true. So who's giving him the knowledge? The Father. That means he's dependent upon the Father. And the, well, and, and the Father. He said that. He said he and the Father are one. No, he but that. the Father. You can go in that verse in John chapter two. All right. Speaking. Well, if you are the, if you are here one, now he he. He said yeah. when he came, he did not. He, no he, he acted like a man. Like you and I and everything, you know, but God, yeah. without our His heavenly knowledge. But do we agree? But do we agree here that God, by by His essence, is supposed to be all knowing at all times. He's not restricted by by time or place. Do, do we agree here that God, by His essence and by His attribute, should be all knowing at all times, and He shouldn't be restricted by a particular time and place? He should be absolute all the time. He should know. Does God does because God know? He decides when. No, I'm not, decides when. no I'm not talking about the, the I'm not talking about he the will. When. No, 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 I'm not talking about the will. I'm talking about the knowledge. Can God be ignorant at one point? Can God not know? Can God not know? Can he be ignorant and not know things? If God had known, if Jesus had said, "I will come in 2023," what would they what would they understand? I will come in 2023, but he didn't say it. No. <laughs> Let's go. No, no, I'm saying, okay, he said, you don't know the hour. He said, you don't know the hour. He said, you I am saying to you, if he had said, I will come in 2023, okay. what would that mean to them? That means he's given the knowledge from the Father. Because he's not all knowing. No, no, you see, you don't want to answer the question. No, no, I, I am saying to you, okay. if he had said, I will come in 2023, what would that mean to them? To who? To, to who? who? To who? Who was speaking to? If, yeah, but if he had said, okay, if, if exactly, if he had said, 2,000 years ago that I'm coming in 2022. That's a prophecy. Right? That's Yeah, it's a prophecy. A prophecy doesn't mean you're born. What would Many that prophets. mean to them? How would they be? How would they act? How okay. would they behave? That's what you, I'm coming with. First of all, I would verify whether that actually came to be true or not. If Jesus, if, wait, hang on. I want if to answer the question. I, I know, I'm answering the question. Watch yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Those people oh. place. Yeah. Yes. I'll oh, test his claim. What? I will test his claim. You know what? I will test his claim whether he's speaking the truth or not. You're saying that now. Why not? But those people there, Hang those on. people there, yeah. did they test the time? No, they test the prophecy. Exactly. No, 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 no. They exactly. Exactly. No, 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 no. That's what I'm auntie, saying to auntie, you. Auntie. That's what I'm saying that those people, we, I said last week, when we read the text, we have to think, who was he speaking to? What were the people? Was he speaking to you? What was... Was he speaking to you? Is it relevant to you? Je the teachings of Jesus, do you believe that it's it's applying to you? The verse that of that day knows not about. Oh, right, exactly. So 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 I want to ask you this question so sincerely. Answer my question. I have answered your question. I would say I, I, I would test his claim. I would test his claim. 
No, you're saying that now. No, I can't just take my no, value. No, 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 no. Yeah, but auntie, if someone auntie, comes auntie, with a claim, no, no. we have to test the claim to see. We have to deal with the people who you're speaking to, right? You have a different education and you have a different perspective of what those people at that time. So you answer, okay, you answer your own question then. So what, what do you expect? from people. Let's say for example Jesus said I will come the year 2023. So what? You won't have no meaning to me. Thank you. Yeah, but so I, that's what Jesus never said. So let's ask so let's go back to what is relevant, which is when Jesus says the Father only knows the hour. You know something? Uh, you know something? No no we're that gonna go is not relevant. No auntie well that the text is not hang on, relevant. Your, hang on this is from your Lord and Savior it is Jesus. Not relevant. I tell you why. Now I, let me continue what I'm saying here. As Jesus' attention was attracted to the, because earlier on in the um, text, the beginning of the text, they saw the temple, right? And they asked Jesus about that temple. And what did Jesus answer? He said, that temple will come to rubble. Not one stone will stand on another, right? And now he look at that temple and then the scene, it was beautiful, but then with sadness, he said the day will come when there shall be left not one stone upon the other, that temple. Okay. Right? But what's your overall... So how do you know about all of these future Hold on, hold on, because I've read this in the Bible. No, no, I'm asking you, how did you know? How did you know these things are going to happen? Did he know inherently? Or was it God? Or, or did, said, God, or did no, the Father? He said it will happen. I didn't ask what was happening. I asked you the he knowledge. He said no, no, it will happen. Auntie, 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 you have to engage in the discussion. Okay. The knowledge that G the, the, the future events that Jesus is describing what's going to happen, are you saying this is the knowledge that he, that he had by himself, like inherently, or did he acquire from the Father? I don't know. He said it. He said it. So, so now, so, so he this said is, it. He okay, said he said it. it. My sister. Whether Sorry, he auntie. Required, auntie. The, no, you asked. You asked me just now. Did he inherit it? Yeah. I don't know if he inherited it. Yeah, but auntie, I want to say something. I, wanna... I'm saying he said that this temple you see here, as beautiful as it is, one day all this it will yeah. come down to rubble. Not one stone will lie. Do you Whether think, he inquired yeah. it, he knew it. But I would okay. say he knew it because it happened. Okay, auntie, do you think it happened? Yeah. Do you think Jesus it is? It happened. Okay, auntie, no problem. Right. Do you think let Jesus? Me, let me finish. Oh, sorry, sorry, auntie, auntie. I'll, I'll let you complete. But just, just let, one question. When I finish, no, no, aunt, I, finish, I just want to make a because point because I want to. I know you want to make many you know points. All right. Listen. So he did not answer them. Instead, from verse four to thirty-five, that's what you read. He won. Before we come to thirty-six. When these things begin to come to pass, because he did not want them to, cons that is not what he wanted them to think about, because he wanted them, he was, uh, there was warning, warning for them to change their life. That is what it's one about. Okay, he did not want yeah. them to think, oh, when will the judgment come, when the judgment is? No. He wanted them to be the people yeah, who but Jean, wanted them to Jean, be. Jean. So that is what he was on about. Can, can you pause right there? Because I want to ask you something before I forget. Okay, right? right? I know. Bless you. I understand that you want to read the whole thing. Yeah. But, but you know what, Jean? <laughs> sometimes what we want to do, we want to ask just a few questions. Because in my brain, it's a bit civvy sometimes. So I tend to forget the questions I want to ask you. Yeah, right? I mean, that, so, so that you, is what... That's why I write down everything. Because I, I know, when I come here, I know. they ask me so much a question that the head go Auntie, yeah. Auntie no problem. I, I get it. <laughs> but, 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 Jean, I want to ask you something, right? They ask me. Jesus, and don't forget what you wanted to ask. <laughs> Jean, right? That's why not. Because you, ma Jean, you made me forget now. Yeah. yeah. So, Jean, I want to ask you, right? Yeah. Jesus said, right? Allah says in the Quran, He says, Kul hatu burhanakum in kuntum sadiqin. Produce your evidence if you speak the truth. I believe unto you're a truthful person. I don't, I'm not discrediting you. No, no, I, 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 you know, I take what you're saying. You However, auntie, Jesus said in John chapter 5, verse 30, He says, I can of myself do nothing. I judge as I hear. But my judgment is honest because I'm not seeking my will, I'm seeking the one who sent me. So you know when you said earlier, right, that the temple was destroyed? I think yes, you mentioned was, this. And Jesus said, 
it happened and it happened. Yes. Right? Yes. Who was the author of that happening? Was it Jesus inherently in himself? Did he make that prediction? Or was God informing him that this will happen? Exactly. Which one was it? Which one was it? I don't know. Okay. Auntie, let me say this to you. Jesus said, I can of myself do nothing right so that means whatever jesus whatever jesus is hearing from the creator oh hold on hold that hold that for yeah 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 whatever um whatever jesus is listening to from god that's what he's telling the people right so jesus is the recipient of that knowledge jesus is the receiver of that of that wahi that revelation from god right so whatever god tells him this is what he tells the people. He is not saying it of his own accord. Jesus said, I can of myself do nothing, auntie. That's what he said, I can't do nothing of myself. I judge as I hear. This actually confirms Jesus' humanity because only a human can judge as he hears, right? In Acts chapter two, verse 22, Jesus said, ye men of Israel, listen carefully. Jesus is a, is of Nazareth is a man approved by God by wonders and signs and miracles that he done amongst you that you yourselves know. This is what it was said in the Bible. Jesus said that he's a man approved by God. He didn't say he's a God approved by God. He says that a man approved by God by wonders and signs and miracles that he done amongst you that you yourself witnessed. Right? So auntie, what I'm saying to you right, is this, right? Is that Jesus came as the prophet of God. This is what we believe. He's more than a prophet. Okay. He's we the will, Messiah. We, we will say that he is the Messiah, but we will also... So what is the Messiah? Right. Messiah means the anointed one. But what is the anointed one? Right. Messiah doesn't mean God though. Right? People, Christians have to get this clear. <laughs> Messiah, Christians, what I've noticed, Christians mistaken the definition of Messiah to mean God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? But it doesn't mean that. It means that he is chosen by God to, to deliver a specific, specific message role. to a specific set of people. Exactly. Right? Set of people exactly. right. I can answer in two ways. There's two ways to answer this. First, we look at the Quran. The Quran says that Jesus was sent to the children of Israel. Allah says in the Quran, وَإِذْ قَالَ عِيسَى بُنْ مَرْيَمْ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ O children of Israel, I am the messenger of God sent unto you. Right? وَإِذْ قَالَ عِيسَى بُنْ مَرْيَمْ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ Verily, I am the messenger of God unto you. Right? Also, in Matthew chapter 15, verse 24, right, it says, I was not sent except unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right? Also in Matthew chapter 10 verse 5, Jesus said, Do not go in unto the way of the Gentiles. Don't go into the... Me and you are Gentiles, auntie. Me and you are... I'm not Jewish. And I assume that you're not Jewish neither. We are Gentiles. Jesus commanded his disciples, Do not go in unto the way of the Gentiles. Rather, he said, auntie, he said, Rather go in unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So we've got confirmation from Jesus himself that he was once sent to the Jews and he told his disciples don't go to the Gentiles yeah, exactly. right so what I'm trying to explain to you auntie right we believe in Jesus's humanity no Muslim can be a Muslim if we reject Jesus we have to believe in Jesus it's part of our article of faith I'll tell you I'll tell you what that means auntie I'll tell you what that means okay just bear with me and then you can respond to us, that's a big thing because we cannot be Muslims. Our Islam is not even complete if we disbelieve in Jesus, right? We have to affirm Jesus as a, as a prophet and as a messenger, but we do not accept him as God. Do you know why we don't accept him as God, auntie? Because Jesus himself ate food. He prayed, he ate food. God yes. doesn't, God is self-sufficient, auntie. God doesn't need food. When you go home tonight, right? You're gonna before you go to bed. I bet you're gonna eat some food before you go to bed, Auntie. Are you not gonna eat some food before you go to bed? Maybe. Or you might have a drink of water, or you might have something to eat because you're hungry. Because no, you. I drink water. I drink water. Excellent. So you are fulfilling a human need, yes. right? You are fulfilling a human need, right? Yeah, like that. You know, Jesus. He was in need of food. He had to eat. That's right. He slept. That's right. Did he not? That's right. Right. That's right. He ate food. He was hungry. 
he was even crying to God and asking God for help. Was he not? All right, yes. Okay. Now. One day you'll be saying that. Uh, uh, sorry? One day you'll be saying that. One day, I, I cry to God. <laughs> when I'm in trouble, I, I, I ask for help. Okay, but not that kind of cry what you do. All right, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying, Auntie, you right? Do you agree so far what I've said? Okay, yes. yes. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you, Auntie, right? Jesus cannot be the creator because he himself was in need of the creator. Exactly. Right? Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 28, he says, my father is greater than I. Right? If Jesus is the almighty God, why would he say his father is greater than him if he is God himself? God is the greatest. And not only that, auntie, when Jesus was on the cross, right? What did he say on the cross, auntie? Eli, Eli, limada sabachthani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Yeah? Why have you forsaken me? Would God say to another God, why have you forsaken me? Does that make any sense to you, auntie? What don't so, you bring? so what do you think? Oh, sorry. Okay. So, okay. So, 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 Jean, what I'm explaining to you is that we believe in the humanity of Jesus, but we also accept Muhammad. What is the purpose of accepting him as a human, and you don't believe all the other things? Of, other things like what? That when he said he talked to the Father is because he took on humanity, humanity, just like you and I, and all the things you say there, he needs food and all things, because he took on man. Now, you think, now um, why he took on man? Now, now think, imagine, if you never experienced uh, you never experience anybody dying, for you, yeah? Sorry, say that again? Anybody who died, yeah. you never experienced that. And I experienced that, yes? And I'm crying, and I'm miserable, and depressed, and everything. You will not understand that because you never had that grief. So when Jesus took on man, man to he put himself in our place that he could understand how we, how we understand it because the Bible tells me that, right? Mm. Okay. Yes? Sorry, before I answer, were you finished? Okay, Auntie, I want to ask you something. All right, finish no, your... All right, finish. so if I committed a crime, right? Were if you I finish? Oh, no, I am, I am, I am. No, 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 I just want to say one thing. And it's, then I will answer. Yeah, it's an extension to what I was saying, right? So, if I did a crime, right? And I was presented before court, mm -hmm. right? And you're the judge, right? And I'm guilty of what? The crime of, I don't know, let's say robbing a bank, for example, right? And you're the presiding judge. And our brother Rehan is innocent. He did nothing, right? Of his, he, basically, let's say he wasn't even there. But let's say for argument's sake, he was inside the court with me. And you as the judge prosecuted this man in my place. And you set me free. Is that just? Is, it, is that is that is that justice? If okay, I repeat, I repeat it. If I okay, sure. If I did a crime, I robbed the bank, HSBC down the road, right? And then I was made to stand in front of you as the judge, right? And you are passing down a sentence to me, right? Is it fair? That Raihan, who wasn't there, is prosecuted and punished and imprisoned for what I have done. Is it fair? No. Okay. Why is it not fair, Auntie? Absolutely. Right. What is it? Right. Right. So Jesus, right, 2,000 years ago, right? was made to die for other people's crimes That's right. right for what for what he did not do jesus didn't commit these actions yes. right so what i don't understand from your perspective not my is that how can, no. not my perspective 
Ask God. Ask God. No, I'm asking it's you, not Auntie. My perspective. No, that is what. That is auntie, God's auntie, plan. Auntie, I just want to make one that thing. That is God's plan. Auntie, don't we're not ask here. Me that. Auntie, Auntie, we're not here to test don't God. Don't we're not here to test God. That. We're here to test whether this is actually from God or not. We're not here to test God. We're here to test if what our. No, 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 no we're not here to test God. We're here to test if our beliefs is actually from God or not. Okay, okay. Yeah? Okay. So the, the brother here is asking about the concept of justice. How is it just that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is dying for the crimes of others? When you yourself agreed, the example that he gave, yeah. that if I was prosecuted for something that I never did, yeah. but he did, he got scot free. It's not but just. then you don't understand God's plan of salvation. That is what Messiah means. Okay, so that is what Messiah, that is what Jesus came for. Okay, so auntie, that yeah. is what Jesus came for. No problem. Because you, just like you say, it wasn't fair. Because then where would you stand? Okay, you so you have nothing to stand. Nobody has anything to stand. So, so God yeah. took Saint Jesus to okay. stand in your place. That is the whole okay. chief of the There's two sides of the coins that I want to yeah. deal with. It. So yes. first of all, first of all, if if God is the creator of everything. He created you, he created us, right? Yes, yes. Do you not think that the creator knows what's good and bad for us? Do you not know? Do of course he does. Right. So why would the creator to experience the because human you side? you don't know. You no, but God... We, we <laughs> don't know. Hang, hang on. No, hang no, on. No, 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 no. We don't know. We didn't behave right. Okay, if I was to create... We did not behave right. I don't want the Quran. We did I'm not, not behave right. right. But auntie, auntie, no, 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 I'm asking... Let's go, you see, the thing is... No, I'm going by rationality, do you remember? I know, but sometimes, to be sound then you have to ask God those... I can't answer what God says. No, 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 we're not even questioning about... We got we're to, not talking we about the Bible. To. No, no, we're, we're not talking about the Bible. This religion and people have different beliefs no, auntie, and all. Auntie, where did it come from? Auntie, if you because can't... people question, they can't believe I understand, this, so they can't I understand. That. Okay. Jean, 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 but, but you agreed with me yes. that God possesses the qualities that is not like his creation, correct? For example, his crea God does God does not possess the qualities like his creation. For example, we are ignorant, but God is not ignorant. We make mistakes, God doesn't make mistakes. God is all knowing, we're ignorant. That is why he sent Jesus. Right, right. but why does that okay. is why he sent Jesus? Hang on, hang on. Okay. Because no God didn't we didn't know. We don't know how to behave. Oh, but God is not ignorant of our struggles. God is, the Quran tells no, us this is the beauty. That's why he sent Jesus. No, no, no. That's, that's why he sent Jesus. Right, hang on, hang on. No matter what you say, what you ask, Auntie. that is why Auntie. he sent Auntie. Jesus. Auntie, if God created us, God knows what's good and bad for us. Do you, is it necessary for him to become human being, to experience what's good ask and bad for God. us? Ask God. No, no, I'm not asking God. No, asking ask you. God. That. No, but auntie, we're asking you this. No, ask God. That. No, we're not here to test God. We're testing Why whether your belief is from God or not. God, by my the, belief. God is the creator. My belief. No, oh, auntie, belief. auntie. Why are you questioning my belief? No, no, we're, you're questioning my belief. We're questioning each other's belief. That's what we do. We're cross examining. We're not testing God. We're testing our beliefs. Right? So you have every right to examine my belief, but I have every right to examine your belief, yeah? So what I'm saying is, if God is the creator... Look, for example, okay, look, this is simple no, example. No, no, no. Okay. You have to question yourself, and I will question myself. That's what I'm doing. I'm questioning, I'm questioning. No, you didn't say No, auntie, auntie. I'm saying if, I'm saying... The, okay, for example, this part... Sorry, auntie. Before this you go, before you go. Okay. Can I just finish this? But auntie, I think this is more important. Because look, Why? Uh, let me get, so you, because we're talking about so the... what you're saying is more important than what I have to say. No, no, auntie, no, no, auntie. we're not he saying that. No, no, auntie, we're not saying that. Yeah. Auntie. Because I asked to finish and you said yours is important. No, we will let you finish. No, no, no. no. Finish, I said I want to finish because I was caught. Okay, you finish. Okay, sure. Auntie, go ahead. Go ahead. So now, Jesus, Jesus was pointing all these things because when he's, when the judgment come, that was not important to him. No, that's not what he wanted them to. He wanted them to, and then in verse 37 to 41, he asked, he said, the world will be like in Noah's day. What was, what was Noah's day like? Do you know? See what Jesus them to. That's 
um, wasn't important because he wanted them to know that one day was a It's a wicked place, but it's in escape what we're asking. I, I that you're giving us a, an excellent explanation. I mean, do, what you've said so far is amazing. It happened. I'm, I'm so thankful that you've actually taken your time out to actually really present this. But this question still remains, Auntie, no, no, no. that why is no, Jesus did not know that? Accept. You don't want to accept. Jesus did not want them to focus. That's not what his focus was. Why did he say all of this? So no, no. The reason, no, the reason, but, but Auntie, you are completely disregarding his statement that of that day, no one knows I'm the knowledge. Not, right, so, so that's what we're inquiring about. But what you're doing, we're we're just, specific you're dismissing inquiry. and you're reading other passages. No, what I'm saying. I am I'm, saying, I am from the beginning. Why did you. In context. Contextualize. Jesus did not know the hour. Can you contextualize? Why are you focusing on that? No, why? the reason because that is, the reason that, because why? because we demonstrate here that Jesus cannot be God. That's because right. Because if Jesus is God, he should know the hour. Because he's, so, he's supposed to be all knowing. He doesn't. That's my point. That's the reason why we're focused on that. That means Jesus is lying, Dante. What you're talking about, Jesus. Hold on one second, one second. If Jesus, if you, if if you're saying to me that Jesus chose not to give that knowledge. Then why would he say that the only the only no, one who knows the father, only the father that is not you're not listening taking in what jesus was saying why did he talk about all this the signs of his time and, and, and people be persecuted and what that is coming it was not relevant for you no, that's your concern for me that's not no, no, that is what jesus my concern, was saying my, con no, 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 Monty, my concern is you believe that Jesus is God, and you're saying yes. God is all knowing, yes. and yes. therefore Jesus is all knowing. But this passage here demonstrates that only the Father knows the hour. So, can you please explain to me when Jesus said only the Father knows the hour, can anyone else know the hour? I am telling you, ask God that question. No, no, no. Jesus. No, no, no. no. Listen, Auntie, listen. Auntie, Auntie, Jesus is telling you he doesn't know the hour. Neither the angels. The angels doesn't know the hour. The sun doesn't know the hour. I understand. I cannot answer that. Okay, do you know, let, let, let someone else try. You want to answer? Okay, you answer. So to raise my voice, Auntie, I didn't mean to. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I'm not a son. Okay, so what, what do you want to add or contribute no, to this conversation? No, I need to finish this. Okay, okay let, 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 let I need to finish right. this. <laughs> you are dwelling on that, but Jesus did not want to dwell on that. He wanted the people, he said there are those who are waiting and watching for him coming few believe with heart and soul that there is a hell to shine and a heaven to gain this is what jesus wants to focus on why did he say all of this auntie maybe you're right no auntie maybe you're right maybe jesus didn't want us to focus question that we are asking in verse 36 yes. right i understand that and therefore there's a wider context to the to the to the conversation at hand i completely respect that auntie but the reason why i'm asking you specifically about verse 36 yes. is for one particular reason because you believe that jesus is part of the triune god yes. you also believe that jesus is god himself yes. so the reason why we are focusing no, it's three in one and that three in one yeah. the, the, the purpose the purpose of god the yeah. purpose of jesus was to save sinners i, I understand that is his auntie, main purpose. Auntie, I, 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 auntie i'm not i'm not denying that but what we are focusing on at, at this moment in time auntie i'm not saying that we're disregarding what the context says exactly because i think because i think the context yes, is, you are. yes you are because you are behaving like the people in that time they wanted to know when, when, when? No, 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 and auntie. He said, so, auntie, so based he on the said, yeah. he said, 
Okay, so, so according to Jesus, does him knowing the knowledge of the hour, does that concern him? Well, you no, have to that's a good question. Exactly. No, exactly. No, 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 no. No, no. So why do you believe Jesus should know the hour? No, no, no. That's not his concern. Sister. Let's deal through it. Okay. We are here to help us. We are here. We are here. I'm joining you. Yeah, we are joining. You are getting the, that context very wrong. When Jesus said he does not know the hour, this was not a question asked to him to prove that it was God if he knew the hour. It wasn't a question. Jesus was giving a revelation of things to come. You have to get that context right. So I have a hold on, hold on, hold on. Jesus was claiming things to come in the future and was saying before that time when judgment will come, these are eventual happen he was, yeah, hold, on, hold, on, hold on hold on he himself was he was not caution he was speaking to them and then the, the the curiosity came and then they asked him tell us when that's gonna happen and jesus said it's not about you to know this day the father has kept for himself yeah, that's what but then saying. he's but that's, hold on, that's an argument hold on hold on hold on so, hold on. so you're making a point jesus, you're making a point but jesus no because you are no the problem what is you are trying to use this point to say jesus is not god yeah but it clearly shows he's not no, he is god no, no, he's no, god no, 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 god is all knowing wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Let, let's hear this no, 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 no. let's hear him out you know what let's you're trying to understand what, what you're trying to understand he revealing things that men could not know but he's the one who revealing about these things. But then he said, because you see, Jesus has made it clear. My father is greater than I. Yeah. Right. I do the will of my father. Yes. He sent me. Yes. You understand? Yes. So Jesus, he was representing. Yes. He is in line with his father. Yes. And his father sent him for the purpose to save mankind. So how does that escape? That, when that, day, that day just mean that day will be a day like um he's when, talking about the day no, just no, talking no, about no, the knowledge no, no. of the hour that knowledge. day is just like a mean when because you see the analogy cross is using father and the son because jesus is trying to obtain his kingdom because we know he coming to rule all the world he judge and he establish his kingdom he shall rule he shall sit on the seat of the ruling he shall all men shall bow before him they shall serve him okay so when jesus I'm says coming, i'm finished hold on because we're having so a dialogue no i'm gonna i'm gonna wow, make a clarification a so jesus what he was saying is a relation between father and his son it's meaning is god now giving a kingdom to him but what he's saying is like a father has a present to his son yeah he he has bought something the son is, is a is kind of like a it's a surprise the son is waiting he does not he father will give me something but he does not know what time God the Father is going to give him to him. So the so Father ignorant. will come so and yes. a surprise, a surprise and give it to him. So that's why he was referring. He was referring that the Father, that day that he will hand the kingdom to him, the Father has kept that day as a surprise. Yeah, so the Father so yeah but you see, son, you my, my friend, hold on, will, one will, second, hold on, one I'm going to make now a clarification. Jesus is God. Why is God? Because Jesus can do everything the Father can do. What he's saying, Which is Disney, what? Which all the, is? Yes. Jesus, what he's saying, for the Father loved the Son, yeah, there's the Father loved the Son, has shown the Son all things that what the Father can do, the Son also can do. But really, G yes, that's what he said, well, Jesus. What about John chapter 5, verse no, hold on. What does it But say? Jesus, what does he do? Jesus, you see, the, the miracle Jesus performed. Yes, yes. Is it was specific to prove he was God? Okay. It was specific right. for him to prove he was God. Okay. First because of, yeah. these were prophecies you, yes. in the Old Testament. Right. Only God can yeah, trade on the water. Yeah, but brother, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, brother, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on, hold on. I can see what's happening here, brother. Uh, you're, go, you're going into preaching mode. Uh, no, so I'm you, giving we, reference. No, no, hold Should on I one read second. on the Bible? We, no, hold I'm on one read. second. One read. second, brother. Because what it is, you're mentioning quite a few points, and we want to answer to some of the points okay, you're raising. Let's go. So I think you need to just like just let's step go. back and allow us to allow us to respond to some of the things you're saying. Okay, right. So when Jesus says of that hour, right? 
what does Je what did Jesus mean when he said the hour? What is what's your understanding of when Jesus said of that day of the hour knows no man? What is the hour he's referring to? I think I've answered the question. I said this day is like the Father and the Son. The Father giving something to the Son, but the Father alone has it because he's the, his authority handing humanity to him to come and judge and rule all humanity. That's so that's, no. that's not what he said. He says, okay. of that day of the hour knows no man, not even the yeah, son. Yeah, but that's the truth. That's what I'm giving, giving you the right context, what it mean. It mean is the father, because he's coming what? To judge the world. No, you're doing Who is coming to judge? It's not the father coming down. Give me that explanation in the Bible. Give me that explanation. There's no explanation. There you go. So you're making this up? No, no, explanation is mean, no, is coming. Sorry, what you're doing is easy Jesus. You're not doing no, it's Jesus. not. You're what doing easy Jesus. You have to understand the context. You see, God has given, even when Jesus came, people waited for so long. Easter Jesus? Easter Jesus meaning that you, you understand the text based on your preconceived notions. Oh, I see. Yeah. He's, not providing, he's, the, he's not providing the understanding from the text. He's providing something outside of but the text. But it wouldn't be, because it's a prophecy. When I said, he will say like, my father's gonna give me something. He promised me so something. God has to be the Hold on, my father has promised to give me something. God has made a promise to me, but he has kept that day he when he's gonna give it to me. That's exactly he what he's saying. Do you believe that God is all knowing for all eternity? Well, that's your belief. You, no, you're it's blaspheming. It's not no, in you that. Said, um, what did I say? What did I say? In, not in that context. The word you're referring. God's no, hold on. Is God all knowledgeable for God eternity? Not, in all that context, uh, there is a reason why I'm saying to you. It's not that context. Context you know that, that you are trying to refer no, but I'm to. asking you a question, brother. Is God's knowledge for eternity? But that's it's what I'm saying. It's not in that context when it comes to but us. What and context? The Father and the Son is not the same context. But you just said earlier, hold on. You said earlier that the Father and the Son, they're equal. That they are the same no. in essence. Yeah, you this is what you said. Also, now you're changing it by saying, no, to, hold I'm on not one changing. second. I'm gonna, I'm, brother, I ask I'm going to clarify. Yeah. If you give me time, I'll clarify. I make statement that Christ is biblical. Jesus said, my father, I greater than I. Because the father loved the son, the f he has shown all things and the greater things that we show him. So Jesus, but who showed you? Sorry, not the father, the father. Right, the showed father. him what? The father loved the son. Yeah, and showed him what? He showed him all things. That what the father can do, so the son hold also on, can hold on. do. So if the, so if the father, the wait, hold on a second. So if the if the okay. So if the father chose not to show him all things, would he have? Would, would he, he have, know all would things? He have known no, he would have done. Would, would he? Would, would he know? Would he he know? would have not known all things. There you go. So he's not God. No, he's not God. no, you see, <laughs> your problem. No, hold on. No, you just said. Hold on, let's brother. You said can I answer that the that? father. No, hold can on. I you that? said to me. Okay, let me finish. You said just now, it's the father who shows the son all things. Things. So let's think about this carefully, right? Now, if the father did not show this hidden knowledge that the son is clearly ignorant of, exactly. right? Jesus would not have attained exactly. that information without the per hold on, without the permission of the father himself, exactly. right? So that means that the the son is dependent on the father yeah. for his not only for his existence but also for his knowledge. knowledge because you said earlier you said earlier yeah that it's the father that shows the son yes. so exactly. if the father chooses exactly. by choice not to show the son certain types of knowledge that the son can't attain that means the son won't know this information yeah, again still yeah so that, again this brings you exactly. into problems no, no, no. so I'm jesus cannot be god you. according to you. Okay, let me. but again again you are in error because when you're trying to compare you're comparing jesus like to being a human being this is a divine being this is 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 no 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 no, no. jesus said no please, jesus please. said can i answer can i answer okay Go. I'm saying to you, this is in the divine realms, yeah, because all angels are under Jesus Christ. So this is the one and who's under hold, Jesus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the one Jesus? anointed one of the okay. Father who come from the Father. So is equal to the Father. No. But no, no, no. you when just I'm said. Saying no, equal, hold on one no, second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have when to I'm stop say, you, brother. I have to I'm stop. When I'm saying equal, yeah. What do you mean by equal? It comes from the Father. Something comes from God. Jesus himself. says very hold categorically. On. Something comes from God Himself. 
and God. It's like a doctor. I'm just no, saying. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Jesus said, My father, John Let 14, verse 28, my father is greater yes, than I. Yes, but this is uh, biblical. So he's not equal then. He's he equal. is. <laughs> when, I'm, when we say equal, equal it's like, uh, let's just say, yeah? okay, go on. Let's just say, like, uh, give me your best let, example. Let's just, let's, like, uh, <laughs> angels. In the please, please just let me finish okay. what I'm trying to say yeah Allah. is like uh, someone who is uh, an architect yeah yeah I'm an architect I've got a son this son Arch is mine Astro architect yeah architect uh, whatever or maybe they're just a doctor yeah a doctor okay doctor. I'm a doctor yeah yeah I'm uh, I, I, I've got knowledge how to heal how to treat everything okay and then one who come from me I've taken him as my son yeah. and I show him how to treat, how to heal. Basically, the knowledge I have, yes. I'm giving to my son. This is mine. So you didn't have a one. Hold yeah. on, hold on. He's not your equal. Lord, Lord, he's not exactly. your equal. Exactly. Exactly. Please, let point. me finish. All right, let me finish. So, let me finish. this son, yeah, we'll I give him all my knowledge. Mm -hmm. But when I'm sending this son, I'm sending him with all full knowledge that come from me. That's perfect. And hold on, hold on, hold on. Then he going, he's going to Even do better. what he has learned from me. Mm -hmm. Basically, is the is the chain of authority like when you see a king, a king sending his son like a prince. When he send his son, he goes with the full authority of the king. No problem. So, no to problem. whom? Hold on, hold on. To whom the son has been sent? If you reject him, you rejecting the authority of the king who sent his son. Yeah, okay. And you come, then you come under the judgment of the king because they will ask you, why did you reject the one I sent you? Boss, we're not in disagreement. We're not disagreeing. This is Jesus was saying because he said he's coming from so he's heaven. A messenger of God. Hold on. He's That's coming it. from heaven and he is. He is, he is God is his father. In, he is saying he has seen the form of his father. Wait, no one on, ever seen. Hold on, brother. I want to. I, I, I want to go back to the example. That's what it is. Hold on one second. I want. This is This is the clarity of the scripture. No problem. Why you don't understand, brother? Brother, no problem. Why you don't understand? I tell you why I don't. I tell you why I don't understand. I don't know why you. I tell you what I don't understand from the example you gave, right? Because it's still the, the example you gave is unfortunately is quite a bad one. What because, do you mean? Okay, I'll tell you. Right. So you know the example where you said that the that you have a son yes. and you're trying to teach your son how to be a doctor, right? And you are you are presenting this knowledge to him, right? You equipped him with the right knowledge so he can go out there and become a, a good GP. Maybe even you better. Send him. But you, he, send him, yeah. you sent him even better you send him out there he becomes a better GP than you right but before he became the GP that he is did he know that knowledge before you gave it to him no, no. Exactly. there you the go so now I you see uh, the hold on one second one second this is yeah so hold on so this is what I said to you it does God know it? Jesus Claim it. He said it clearly. Wait, one why, I don't know why you don't understand? There's no ambiguity on the scripture. Brother, he said that uh, for dependent. the father loved the son and he showed him all things. Okay, so it's God dependent. So I don't know why you're getting it's, confused. No, but why but would God when he come? Know. Hold on. But when it but comes to the authority, because the you see, so you God has already foretold that before even Jesus came. In in Psalm two, he come, He says, "Today I be I begotten you." And he gave authority that all men, all human kings and judges, they have to honor him. So God is the one who sent his son. He sent him with his authority. Yes. But you are rejecting the authority of the son of God and say you want to go to the father no, and we God is judging no, you. We're rejecting He's, He's no, judging no, you. We are rejecting. No, no, no. no. Why is reject, God is saying? Go no, on, no, we're on, rejecting on. that you're saying Jesus is the Hold on. The, the, the scripture is so clear. I don't know what, I don't know what you don't understand. The, the scripture is so clear. I don't know why you don't understand. What did I just say? Sorry, when we read, when we read, when we read in you know, the prophecy before Jesus came to being, what does he say, the no, Father? Brother, you know what? You're Hold jumping on. so no, much. You're not really I'm, dealing. Hold I'm on, brother. Gonna give you no, brother. I want to stop you now because what you're doing, no, the you're, reason not, why you're I'm not saying, dealing with I'm, I'm, you're I'm, what we are asking. I'm establishing the authority, a chain of okay, authority. To, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to break our fast anyway. Soon. Okay. No, so, let's conclude. I want to give you. Okay. You see, the reason why I'm saying the language of Christ does much with this scripture is a chain of authority okay thank you, Shala. Thank you very much i didn't come to my okay, auntie.
Okay. Remember, so, uh, all what this guy why did argue? Jesus say all of this? Why? Did, because this is not the focus. I want you to get that. Auntie, that was not the focus. Auntie, we will definitely continue this discussion next all time. Right. All right. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa amma bad. We spoke to Auntie Jean. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open her heart, inshallah, bi idni rabbihim. And we ask Allah that He opens our heart with all our Christian brothers and sisters here in the park. Amin, inshallah.